Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can increase your FPS, fix lags and stutter and get better performance in all new X Defiant dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is that essential Windows settings. And for that, open up settings on your PC. And once you're here, go down to gaming, go into to game bar and then turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling it will help you to get extra FPS. Then go back to gaming, open up game mode and turn this thing on. I've counted this multiple times, but game mode turned on will give you extra FPS as it disable unwanted applications and services running in the background. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply open this thing up, click on change the default graphic settings and enable both of these options that is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to utilize your GPU for ending the game as well as reducing your input latency. After that, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button. Go to the download location of your game, select the xdfn.exe, click on the add button. Then go over to options, click on high performance and then click on save. Step number two is the compatibility settings and for that open up your file manager go to the download location of your game scroll all the way down until you find the xdfn.exe right click on that and go over to properties then go to compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimization click on change high dpi settings and then select override dpi scaling behavior click on ok and then click on apply step number three is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press ctrl shift and escape all together on your pc and the task manager will open right in front of you simply look up for startup applications over here and then disable all of the unwanted and unnecessary applications that you do not want to start up with the boot of your PC. This will help you to ensure that less number of applications are running in the background and your PC is utilizing most of the resources to render the game. Next step is disabling unwanted services and for that press windows and R key together and then type in msconfig. Once you are here, click on the services section right over here, select hide all Microsoft service and then disable all unwanted and unnecessary services such as Adobe update service, browser update service, screen recording services, benchmarking services and those ones that you do not use. I highly recommend you guys to know which one you are disabling it and what the function is to ensure that all of your games and applications run perfectly fine and as intended. Once that is done, simply click on OK. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient. And once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes. And using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall. Links are in the description below. Next step is deanimating your Windows. And this is super simple and necessary. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and then click on adjust for best performance. Then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts, as well as show window contents while dragging. All of them will help you to reduce all unwanted and unnecessary animations from your windows consuming your CPU usage as well as make it look minimal. The next step is right in the advanced section right over here which is the virtual memory. Click on the change button and deselect automatically manage paging file size for all drives. After that click on the custom size and then set it to 1361 for the initial size as it is the most optimal value. For the maximum size open up system information on your PC and have a look on your installed physical memory that is 32 GB for me. Simply open up your calculator and then multiply 32 with 1024 to get your memory size in megabytes since it demands an MB. Divide this whole 
value by 2 and the value that you get over here is what you have to put in the maximum size. Once that is done, click on the set button, click on OK and then click on apply. This will ensure that your virtual memory is set up perfectly for gaming. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using exit lag. Exit lag is processed to fix all of your ping issues, packet loss issues, jitter and so much more. You can download it from the link in the description below. Once you open up the application, it should look like this and it is very minimal. On this list, you can find over 1000 games to choose from and you can simply search for XT Fiend right over here. Select the nearest game region to you. That will be Mumbai 01 for me and it will show you the estimated ping that is 3 milliseconds for me. Simply click on apply routes and it will automatically help you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrances. This will ensure that all of your ping, packet loss, jitter and internet issues will be fixed. The best part about exit lag is a tool section right over here which offers you a dedicated FPS boost section in which if you enable the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, third, last and last option, it will help you to gain extra FPS in the game. Once again, exit lag is not free to use and you need to get a subscription and if you go from my link in the description below, you can get a 2 plus 1 month free exclusively for you guys to save your money and improve your internet connection. So make sure to go check out exit lag, links are in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super important. Search for create a restore point on your PC and then look for a local disk C, click on create and name it xdefined just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore your PC, you can always do it without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and close system properties. Next step is the XT Fiend FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can alternatively join my Discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial. Now over here, you'll find in five simple folders. Let's begin up with the first one that is the CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. But if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. It will help you to utilize your CPU to the maximum level. Next is the RAM option optimization and in here I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. Once again, I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to run the 32 GB RAM registry. It could be different for you, so you can pick any one from this. And if you don't like it, you can reset it back to default. Then go to the third folder, which is the XDFN priority, in which I have left all of these priorities. Once again, leave your PC specs down in the comments below, and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. Fourth one is the unwanted services, in which I have left all of these services to disable on your PC. It will help you to increase your FPS by reducing the CPU usage and services running in the background. Once again, if you want to re-enable any of this one, you can always re-enable from this folder. Fifth one is the programs in which I have left MSI Utility V3. Simply right click and run this as administrator. Once you are here, select your graphic card and then click on the MSI button right in front of it and for the interrupt priority, set this thing to high. Then simply click on apply and then close it. Next is the unparked CPU. Right click and run this as administrator again. Windows by default has a tendency to park your unused cores which will lead to fluctuation in the performance. To do this, you can simply slide the score parking index all the way to 100% and then click on apply and it will enable all of your cores and it will ensure that your PC is always running on the maximum performance. Then simply close this application close the FPS pack and now let's drop into the game for the best in-game settings. Okay, once you open up your game, go over to settings right over here and then scroll down to video and graphics. Then make sure that your display mode is set to full screen. Display resolution should be a native resolution. Refresh rate should be the highest available for your monitor. Triple buffering, turn this thing off. Reduced latency, turn this thing off. Nvidia Reflex low latency on plus boost. Brightness and contrast according to you. DX12 renderer off. Graphics quality, I have set this thing to ultra for my PC, but you can go down to medium or low. V-Sync, turn this thing off. Frame rate limit, turn this thing off. Shadow quality, medium. Spot shadows, low. Spot shadow resolution, low. Contact shadows, off. Resolution scale, 100%. But if you have a super, super low end PC, you can get it down to 85 and it will work the best. Sharpening, 7 would be the best one. Particle detail, high. Or you can go with medium. Volumetric fog, low. Global reflection quality, low. Local reflection quality, low. Vegetation quality, low. Subsurface scattering, off. Ambient occlusion, low. Object detail, 20. Extra seeming distance, off. Lens flare, off. Water quality, medium. Chromatic aberrations, off. Terrain quality, medium or you can go with low. These are the best settings for this game. Once you're done with that, simply click on the apply button and then click on yes. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, we are really close to 200,000 subscribers and your subscription would be really appreciated. If you're not a channel member yet, consider getting the channel membership as it really helps me out a ton. And with all that said, we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.